Let's take a closer look at how we can connect reading and writing through the use of fan fiction. To do so, we'll return to our fan fiction expert, Shannon Sorrow. Hello, this is Shannon Sorrow. In this segment, I talk once again about fan practices, specifically fan fiction and fan fiction tasks that have been brought into the advanced English language classroom. Although the examples I'll discuss here are taken from university students in Sweden, similar tasks have been designed and adapted for younger students with lower English proficiency in middle and high school classrooms. First, a quick reminder about fan fiction, defined here as writing that continues, interrupts, reimagines, or just riffs on stories and characters other people have already written about. As this definition indicates, there are many different genres and types of fan fiction depending on the interest of the writer and the source material. One popular genre among younger writers is fan fiction where the author inserts themselves as a character in their favorite story. In other cases, writers might rewrite endings to a story, rewrite an entire story from the perspective of a different character, or place the characters from one story in an alternate universe. One currently popular type of alternate universe fan fiction is where fans write about their favorite characters working at a coffee shop in their hometown. Fan fiction can be of any length. For instance, one type of fan fiction, drabbles, are short stories that are no more than 100 words long. There are of course many short stories and also plenty of novel length fan fiction stories that are several hundred thousand words long. In this presentation, I'll be talking about fan fiction based on two different sets of stories. The first is based on The Hobbit, a fantasy novel written by British author J.R.R. Tolkien set in a world called Middle-earth inhabited by dwarves, elves, humans, wizards, dragons, and hobbits. The next set of texts are the Sherlock Holmes mysteries. Sherlock Holmes is a London-based famous fictional private detective who was created by British writer Sir Arthur Conan Doyle and appeared in detective novels and short stories between 1887 and 1927. The context where these fan fiction tasks take place is a course on teaching literature required for students specializing in teaching English at the secondary school level in Sweden. Students are in either their first or third term of study of a five-year undergraduate program. The two fan fiction projects described here were designed to serve as a possible model of tasks that these future teachers could use with their own students. The first project is called The Blogging Hobbit, a task-based fan fiction project culminating in the writing of a collaborative story of a missing moment from Tolkien's The Hobbit and published in a blog or online fanfiction archive. For this project, students were organized into groups of three to six and asked to carry out a series of subtasks that resulted in the publication and presentation of a story depicting a missing moment. Each student was required to contribute at least six paragraphs to their group's story and to write from the perspective of one character from The Hobbit. This required careful attention to the character's way of speaking and behaving. The overall project consisted of four parts. One, the creation of a map and outline to help guide each group in their writing. Two, the published collaborative story. Three, an individual reflective essay in which students wrote about linguistic and literary choices they attended to. And four, a group oral presentation on the process. The resulting 31 stories ranged in length from 2,000 to just over 16,000 words. 